Hey, good day. My name is Josh. In this video, I'm going to be talking about some ways to stop drinking that really helped me. In a previous video, I talked about what happens once you stop drinking. But in this video, I'm going to just share a, a central idea that actually helped not drinking be quite easy. And it wasn't a massive uh, or difficult thing for me to stop drinking. I am not a doctor, an expert, a coach, a psychologist or anything like that. I'm just a guy who's an enthusiast for living a good life and want to share some ideas with you that have really helped out. I started drinking when I was about 14, 15 and you know, Australian drinking culture. It was pretty much you're just drinking to get wasted and get blackout drunk. We used to drink from these things called uh, goon bags, which was like a, a cask or a box of really cheap white wine. This one was called Cooler Bar. Um, well, that's so funny that I can remember that. And that sounds so aggressive when I say it out loud, like 14, 15 getting blackout, but that was, that was what it was like. And it wasn't like, you know, I was hating my life at the time. I was having a lot of fun and, you know, became a really social drinker. I, you know, as you do when you're a teenager, 17, 18, 19, 20, have a little bit of social anxiety or social angst and, you know, got drunk to be fun and have fun. And I had a lot of fun. Like I loved drinking, which is so funny to say now. And, you know, loved, like sometimes we get drunk in the middle of the week. Like if everyone had the same day off after we left school, we would go and, make it a thing. We go over to a buddy's house, we play drinking games. And again, the whole purpose of that was just getting <laughs> drinking for the sake of getting like as drunk as we possibly could. And think it was hilarious if someone passed out writing on their face with Sharpies and permanent markers and that sort of thing. So I didn't even really think of stopping until something better came along, which is what I'd like to talk about today. I think that something that a lot of people don't talk about or think about is finding it something else that is equally as fun. You know, since our social circles are so closely tied in with drinking, a big part of going, you know, staying with alcohol can be because you hang out with your friends. You know, you hang out with your friends and you spend a lot of time drinking and having fun. And, you know, there's so much wrapped into it being an event, you know. But as, you know, you're probably watching this video, you probably realize that this is kind of not really aligned with who I want to be or what I want to do in my life. I have a bit of an addictive personality. You know, I don't think of it like that. I just like to do things full out. And, you know, since I've come to Vancouver, I've done all sorts of different things. You know, I've, I've hiked massive mountains. I've uh, done this amazing trail run, which took me like 12 hours. And, you know, I get into martial arts. I do that like eight times a week, like immediately. And I think that, you know, if you're the sort of person that is drinking during the week or, you know, heavily on the weekends and, you know, going pretty hard, you're probably similar to me. But there's something, you know, that could replace that. And we're gonna, that's what we're going to talk about today. It's like finding that replacement instead of just thinking, oh my goodness, I'm going to cut cold turkey and then not have any fun in my life. I mean, nobody wants that. So let's start there. What do you want to do? What's something cool that you want to do in your life that you've been thinking about, you've been putting off? For me, it was, you know, climbing a massive mountain. I always wanted to do jujitsu. I always wanted to get really good at spearfishing. You know, what's something cool that's physical that you want to do? you know, outside of this video, I know that this is just a couple of minutes long. This is going to be a key part in, in, you know, moving away from alcohol and getting to do more fun stuff in your life. It's like, think about a list of things that you really want to do. So for me, it was spearfishing. The first thing that really tipped this off was spearfishing. So which is where you go and you hold your breath, you swim in the ocean and you have a spear gun and you hold your breath, you go down and you shoot fish. Super fun. Like, Epic, epic sport. But I'd just gotten into it when I was working on the boats uh, on the other side of uh, Australia, which is a whole different story. But I was working on these boats uh, and I came back and so I was on holidays. I was drinking during the week. I was drinking on the weekends. I'd rock up to my buddy's place with like a two cases of like pre-mixed drinks. Like, yeah, it was kind of ridiculous. And we would just get shit faced. But I'd already booked uh, to go spearfishing with another friend, you know, on a couple of those, the days after. And so I woke up, he picked me up nice and early. We went out and I was like, oh my God, I feel terrible. And then I was, you know, swimming on the top of the ocean, snorkeling my mouth, mask on, and just thinking, oh my God, I'm going to throw up in my snorkel. Like you don't want to throw up all around you and then you're just swimming in your, own, <laughs> in your own mess. And, you know, going down, holding my breath, going down to like 20 meters, coming back up, going down, coming back up and like trying to focus, being hung over. It was just an awful experience. But it was the first time where I was like, I really thought, oh, this would have been way better off if I didn't drink. And I discovered something that I really wanted to do that, like I had mentioned earlier, superseded the fun that I was having when I was drinking alcohol. 
And so the next time I went back to a buddy's place to drink and have fun, you know, and party, I put it off and I was like, mm, I might not drink as much. And I had one or two drinks and I was like, this is kind of lame. Like, why am I just having a couple of drinks? Why am I not? I don't, I'm either getting, my mentality was I either get wasted or, you know, I don't drink at all. And so I decided not to drink. And so the next time I went, you know, free diving and spear fishing, I was like, oh, this is way better. I'm like not hungover. I'm not, you know, not, don't feel like I'm going to vomit into my snorkel. There were definitely a few times where I rocked up, you know, hungover, but it started to become the priority in my life instead of just drinking. So what is that for you? You can call it your why for not drinking, if you like, if you, you can call it your purpose for not drinking, whatever you want to call it. I just think of it as what's a thing that I really want to do that's more fun than drinking and getting wasted, that's more important to me than that. And slotting that in instead of just trying to cut cold turkey and then having this big void. Because there's so much attached to drinking and have being social with friends and all that sort of stuff that I mentioned before. So in a year, you can do a lot. Like you can start to compete in jujitsu. You can start to, um, you know, you can do a massive mountain. You know, I'll put some videos up of stuff that we've done. Like I've decided to do a lot of these things within a year. And be like, okay, I want to climb this massive mountain in which is called the Bugaboos. And all of a sudden I'm doing my first outdoor, you know, climbing experience. And like, it was pretty insane for my first experience. You know, with trail running, we decided to do this thing called the House Sound Crest Trail. And then within nine months, we were running this trail that usually took people three days to do. So it's incredible what you can do in a year. Write down a bunch of stuff and just choose one. And secondly, I would say, you know, do it with a group or do it with a friend. Like with jujitsu, I jumped into that and, you know, there was a, a guy that I met that was just starting as well. He had the same temperament as me. And we've just committed to go almost every single day. Like if he's out of town, I'm doing private lessons. If I'm out of town, he's doing private lessons with someone or he's going to classes. I'm thinking that I'm falling behind. And I know for a fact, I mean, it's been one or two times when I've been tired and I've rocked up and he's going to get the better of me every single time. And so now there's social pressure to show up, you know, healthy, fit, ready to go. Because if I show up at my worst, he's going to beat me. I think as guys, we're naturally competitive. So why not use that to your advantage? You know, get a friend who's interested in it and you can go together, just show up to a class and make some friends. I've done that. That example, I didn't know this dude before I went. And, you know, now I've made a little community around it and it made it so much harder to not show up. Like no matter how I was feeling, if I was, you know, previously, if I was hungover or even if I'm tired, if I had a late night, if I've gone out to dinner with friends, like I have to show up because now there's this social pressure and I've set the standard and this expectation that I'm going to show up not only to myself, but to other people, which is the, which is the key part here. It's like making sure you're doing this with someone else. So you want to make sure to summarize, make it physical, you know, cause it's going to replace the uh, endorphins that get released from drinking. You want to do it with friends or do it with some people, a community or a group, because we're again, replacing the social aspect. You're not just going off and just being a loner all of a sudden and not drinking. And don't forget that, you know, just to take it one day at a time, like this is your life. Just take it one day at a time. If you're drinking every single day, just one day at a time. Like don't think about five years in the future. Don't think about a year in the future. If you're only drinking on weekends and you're going hard, just take it one week at a time. Like this week, I'm just not going to drink. I recommend organizing things for Saturday and Sunday morning. So you've got a little bit of forced structure. So you've got something that you have to do. You've got somewhere you have to be. So that that's in the back of your mind when you're you know, going to decide whether to drink or not to drink, to go out or not go out, you know, have an earlier night or have a late night. How's that going to affect how I show up tomorrow morning? And then lastly, just enjoy yourself. Like this is life. The whole point of this is to stop doing something that we know isn't great for us and do something that we really want to be doing that we've been putting off. And so get excited. You know, sometimes I'm driving to Muay Thai at six o'clock in the morning. I'm like, oh my God, it's so early. And then I'm like, oh my goodness, this is the coolest thing ever. Like I get to go and hang out with some cool people. I get to learn how to fight. I get to, you know, do something that I've been putting off for like five or so years, which is crazy. Hope that helps. And I'll see you in the next video.